Hi, in this video, we're taking a quick look at the design for our microservice class architecture. It's important to go over this so that we can understand what the microservice does and how the code is organized. This is the third video in a larger playlist for creating microservices in Java. You can find the link for the full playlist in the text below. Now, we're gonna look at this in two steps. First, we're gonna cover the use cases for our trivia microservice. This will give us an understanding on what tasks the service handles. This will be mostly from the user's perspective where the user is likely some other system. Next, we'll go over the class diagram for our code that we'll create. It will give us a map for how our service will operate. The class diagram also helps us understand how we're gonna organize our code. So let's talk about the use cases. First off, someone calling our microservice might not know what calls can be made. One use case for our microservice is get a list of actions we can perform we'll need to provide a directory of services available. Our trivia microservice should be able to return trivia questions. We know we need to return a question and we need it to be both random and we need a particular one. We'll need to get a list of questions. This will be the list of complete list of questions and a smaller list. We'll want a complete list for the admin tool so that we can view all the questions available. A smaller list of particular questions could be useful for a game where we want to select the question list in advance. In both cases, we'll page the results. If we have millions of questions in our database, we don't want to return all of them in one call. We'll return 10 at a time. We'll also provide links for the client to request the next 10. We'll add the use case get navigational links for our lists. We'll also need to know how many questions there are. This isn't as important now, but later on when we add more features like categories, this will be really important. This is a good list of use cases for now. We can add more later as our microservice becomes more mature, but for now, we just wanna get things started and our development process in place. We'll expose each of these use cases in a REST API. We'll start with our JAX RS application. It doesn't do much other than expose the REST endpoint trivia. You can think of the trivia app as the main method for our application. We'll include our directory here. This makes sense since this will be the only URL we guarantee. Clients can navigate our API from here. Now let's create a class that represents our trivia question. A trivia question should have the question for possible answers, the correct answer, and maybe a hint. We'll also want to give it an identifier and a date the question was last modified. We'll also need to create a builder for the trivia questions. This makes it a bit cleaner when we create the trivia questions and it makes sure that we never create incomplete trivia questions. I I hate questions with no answers. In order to get questions from our database, we'll need to create a class that handles our data access. Right now, we don't want to set up a full database, we just need something to test with. Later, we'll want to replace this object with something backed by a real database. To make our lives easier, we'll create an interface with all the data tasks. This will be getting particular questions, getting random questions, getting a list of questions, and getting the total count. The interface will look like this. We'll then create a class adhering to this interface that just uses an array. Finally, we'll have a class that exposes all of these calls in REST endpoints. So that's what we're starting with. Of course, there's many features we can add to our service. If there are features you want to see added, let me know and we'll add more videos adding more features. But for now, let's get this application built and in our continuous integration build process. All right, thanks for watching the video. You can find the diagrams and complete transcripts on dgu.com. Next, we'll take a look at implementing our Trivia microservice. If you like what you're seeing or have any questions, let me know in the comments below or on dg.com. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.